Michelle Obama obviously just spoke for Hillary Clinton. A lot of people find her inspirational. What did you think of the speech? It was phenomenal. It was so exciting to hear the First Lady and hopefully our next President of the United States speak today. It was really so inspiring and we're going to help get out the vote. A lot of folks who are questioning Hillary Clinton, they see these emails that are coming out makes it look like some of the policies she's pushing kind of changed in real time when Bernie was kind of gathering steam. I think what it tells me is that Hillary listens. She listens to the voters, she listens to the people that she represents, and I think that will make her an incredible president. And I, I see the uh, LGBT button. Do uh, you know people or yourself? I am. The, I'm here with my daughter and my wife today, so, and we're so excited about the support that Hillary brings to the GLBT community. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. I evolved over time, and I'm very, uh, very proud to state that I'm a full supporter of marriage equality right now. She was against it before. What do you think about her evolution on that? I think evolution is a great thing. I think it's when we become so entrenched that, w that we cannot hear and learn and form new opinions that we become bad policymakers, and it makes us difficult human beings. I think that she is willing to hear and listen and learn and evolve with her country, with her community, is what makes her a strong president. What do you say to people who say it's not evolution, it's political calculation? I think they're mixing words. It's Whether it's political evolution or, or her own personal evolution, that she is willing to listen to the people around her and not become so intractable in one position that she is willing to hear what the people of her country need and what the people of her country want is what makes her a strong politician. And lastly, uh, to you, what's the biggest uh, fear with Donald Trump? The biggest fear? Uh, if you can name, I don't know if you can name one. <laughs> I, he has no experience or understanding of what government is or how to run a government. A government is not a business. It is an entirely different creature. And in order to govern people, to inspire people, and to lead our country requires a skill set that he doesn't have.